questions of science, science, and progress. As an INTJ, this line speaks to me the most in the entire song. Same, but as an INTP. Wait, seriously, man? What, what have you got against P? What, what, what did urine ever do to you, man? Why are you gonna be so against it? Nah, bro, don't drizzle around the subject. Step up, come on. You're in trouble. You, you gotta, you gotta ex explain yourself. <laughs> Good day, you superficial superheroes. Welcome back to MK. My name's Jack, the snack that whispers into your ear and tells you to do those things that they tell you not to do, but don't, don't listen to them. Listen to Jack. Do it. Do the thing you know you want to. Do it for Daddy MK. And today, after legally distancing ourselves from any activities you may be encouraged to now take part in due to that prior announcement, we're going to be looking at some r slash I am very smart. So sit down and enjoy. Uh, Beano's. Never heard of that term before. What about field glasses? Well, that at work. I mean, how do you even pronounce beanos? Beanows, which is how it's spelled, but has no relation to the actual full word. Or bean us, which would be the truncated form of the word, but has no relation to the spelling binos. Our uh, beanos is a shortened term for binoculars. I'm given the OP and Aussie accent because that's absolutely what we do. Well, obvious commenter is obvious. It's a ridiculous shortened term. For precisely the reasons I outlined earlier, it makes the user sound as if he wants to appear so familiar with the object and just so busy with life that he's created some silly jargon. Yeah, mate, you would not like my country. <laughs> no, you would not be able to handle it here. Like we could, <laughs> our, our country could make a list of the amount of shortened abbreviations we've made. The precious Monday neuropathologically walk because imprisonment puzzlingly in the tie underneath a bewildered column. Testy, proud notebook. Wow, if you're going to speak English, could you at least make an effort to be the tiniest bit of coherent? And what if this is their second language? Hmm? What then? Racist. Oh boy, a conga line of comments. I think you'd have to be crazy to buy a Rolex right now. I'd invest in AMC. Buy the dips in crypto. You'll make 10 times that in a few days. AMC is on a free fall. It was only hyped so the early guys could get out. <laughs> False. There is still 132 million shares shorted. The company can run for two years even if they make zero revenue in that time. AMC is easily a $30 plus stock when they return to pre-COVID numbers. But by all means, attempt to argue the math with an astrophysicist. Oh, you activated his trap card. I have about 4,200 shares, made about 16K today. And that's not including the calls I own. People like you also thought Doge and Bitcoin weren't going anywhere back when 10,000 Doge cost $6 and 10,000 Bitcoin coin cost eight. I'm curious what about your training as an astrophysicist gives you such deep insights into the stock market. Did you sell? Math plus insanely high IQ plus my portfolios speak for themselves plus buying a home in 19... Uh, oh wait, it's a postcard. Okay. <laughs> Yes, he bought it in that year. He's bought something in the future. He's just so smart. At age 23, plus the raw Artex data, plus being Jewish, plus where's this voice going? Plus AMC completed their new share offering, plus a massive spike today where only about 1% of the shorted share is covered, plus I started my own business at age 14 and was making 50k to 79k a year in high school. I've got plenty more. Well, if I worked on a dairy farm, I too would have a lot of to shovel. I don't get the down votes. It's the ever-present Gaussian white noise created by liberals with nothing better to do who are thoroughly frustrated knowing there's no logical counterpoint to the facts being laid out here that contradict their faulty beliefs. So, in their impotent rage at reality, downvote those very facts. Welcome back to MK. That never gets old. Hum! It does. Everything older than it was one second ago. What a dummy. Hey, you leave our fans alone, you... Well, I guess you're a fan too if you're commenting on the video, so... Uh... Leave yourself alone! Life goal. Build a Dyson Sphere around the sun powered by decentralized AI. Unlimited energy for everyone. Great. I posted this clickbait for people to send me a message and talk to me now because they're curious about it and therefore I'll have actually conversations to make and therefore people will actually like me because they're talking to me. So that's how it works. They talk to me because they like me. So how long has it been since I posted this, by the way? Oh, 20 hours. <laughs> I'm really not sure that just saying God isn't real to people would do anything, but it just seems so dumb that people in freaking 2021 are still wasting their lives on this stuff. I guess it's helpful for them, but the amount of productive things that could be done rather than people dedicating their lives to a myth is jarring to me. You'd think as far as we've come intellectually as a species and culture, we would finally be rid of it and replace it with more productive things. I'm not going to quote 
quote that name that I can't bother pronouncing or something, but he thought we'd replace it with philosophy and art, the humanities. Instead, we are still twiddling our thumbs because we're still scared of death and finality. Yeah, gee, how stupid of us to be afraid of dying one day. Gosh. Not sure religion will ever die if reality still isn't universally accepted. No offense, anyone, but man, just question your faith and don't blindly follow anything. Except science, right? That's, yeah, you blindly follow that, even though that's something that's constantly changing and developing. You should actually always be questioning science because it's the whole foundation science is built upon. And look, you can hate the people that follow the religion. Absolutely. There are many people that have ruined religion for everyone else. Public reminder that religion, despite what the extremists might say, is actually a rather fluid thing and you can follow it to any degree that makes you happy in life. I know quite a few people who say they're not Catholic or Christian at all, but absolutely love and devote their time to Jesus. I'm just, this is a rant, but I'm just saying, you can have religious faith and still be a critically thinking human being. Religion is like a dirk. You can do whatever you want with it in your own time and at your own home even, but just don't go around shoving it down people's throats. Oh, I've been on a break trying to increase my reading grade, shaking my head, teacher even sent a whole email. Oh gosh, grade concerns. Good afternoon, Miss Blank. I'm emailing you today to express my concerns for your son. Oh, oh, I'm calling him O. Oh. And his grades in my class this year. Yada, yada, yada. As of now, he has a measly sixth grade reading level as a soon to be senior in high school. So, all in all, please help him. I, I'm doing my best. Please help him outside of school. Oh, bro, I got a sixth grade reading level as a senior. Meanwhile, I'm a sophomore and I read at a senior college grade level. <laughs> Well done, you've completely missed the whole point of the humor in this post and instead made it all about you. Good going, white male. You can read my paper I'm going to publish and reshape the world of quantum physics. Oh wait, you're probably not gonna be able to understand it because I'm not only way too evolved, but you just stupid? Wow, he's so evolved that his sentences make no sense. But I'm praying for you and remember, God loves you. For the record, I graduated second in my class at Harvard. The guy got 0.17% more than me. Oh, thumbs a bit sore about that? Unlike that probably isn't even in the top 10, but sorry for me because I had to hold down 2,000 levels and yet not near you. Again, wow, that evolution, he's just so evolved that he can't be coherent in his sentences. Okay, okay, get ready for this. This was... Someone posted this on their Facebook, just, you know, just so you're aware of that. 24-year-old alt-right Caucasian male, 133 IQ, 7.74 inch pepina, still looking for an anarcho-capitalist girlfriend, must be under 5 foot 6 and at least someone mentally stable, like me, willing to settle for minarchist or minarchist, is that even a word? Or right libertarian if above 8 out of 10 in appearance, preferably of Atlanta Mediterranean descent because I seldom date outside my anthropological sub-race. What the hell, dude? What is this? Why? Who are you? Hit me up, derogative term that... Real, dude, you really think you're gonna get a decent girl if this is how you portray yourself and communicate? Oh, come on. Oh, wait. Never mind. Oh, my God. Do you see those selfies in his car? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, no way. He smokes in an enclosed space, too. Oh, that is... That is all I could ever want. I love druggies because they constantly act like unique snowflakes that blurt out pseudoscience and misuse quotation marks. If you wish to treat with me while you have a chance, go away and come back when you are sober. In fact, I am going to show your comment to my friend Caleb. <laughs> I have friends and you don't. <laughs> Tell me you don't have friends like you think you do without telling me you don't have friends like you think you do. Who brags about having friends on the internet? Oh, uh, anyway. No, I am going to show it to the whole Hobbit memes. <laughs> no! And no, you may not. It is reserved for intellectuals and people who have actually read the books, and they are all going to laugh at you. Enjoy, and have a decent day, bud. From a worried, actual, I repeat, actual book reader. These people must be confidence vampires. They just suck out the confidence and self-worth from everyone around them to the point where they just have this massive ego. Edit added, guys, please cool it with the down votes, normies. Read a book. Holy heck. Edit added, fine, I don't care about your down votes. They do not affect me. I have a lot of karma and could not care less about 10 down votes. <laughs> Reverse psychology. I have a PhD. <laughs> <laughs> it added. 
No! Sunny smiley emoji! I've thought for a long time people educated beyond their intelligence do more harm to society than ignorant ones. Ooh, a bit of eugenics at play here. Well done. It's like they agree with Hitler, they just they don't want to come out about it. I have had IRL sex many times. When you are six foot two, strongly built, and have an IQ of 181, it is difficult to live the tread life, even though I wish I did sometimes. So fascinating how people who have these extreme qualities never have it as their profile picture. See, like, they're afraid of showing everyone what they actually look like. You must be great at parties. Into Google, follow the link, put down Fortnite for this two hours and learn something. Because right now, you're a mess. Well, okay, buddy. Yeah, I'm the mess, lol. You can barely make a paragraph without contradicting yourself, lying or engaging in some non sequitur. Lol, 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 it's the middle of the night. You really think I have the energy or patience to deal with you right now? Oh, I used a big Latin word again. Don't cry, it'll be fine. <laughs> please get rid of the halo insignia on your profile picture. You please, you don't deserve it. Duck isn't playing a game. It's about life and death. The game is played by the tiger. A bit of food, more or less. Insignificant for his survival. Cause it was a joke. You never had to take it that serious. It has a symbolic character that the stronger does not always have the right to capture. We humans condemn the jungle law. The word game is extremely questionable in this case. Winky face. Okay. Showing this video to me is like showing a degree level mathematician simple addition and teaching him about it. The MCU is the bottom of the barrel entertainment wise. They don't even have a good score to go with any film and all you get is Guardians of the Galaxy with his low tier boomer rock. Anyone who watched these films and enjoy them have the same intellectual IQ minus 137 of the average American so I'm not surprised they're so famous. I feel like if anyone anywhere on the internet types in the letters I and Q together. It sends a signal to every intelligent a-hole in the universe. Let me so tell you, my IQ, my IQ, my IQ, 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 IQ is IQ. really big. This song was truly made in heaven. It's a golden experience listening to it. There is no heaven. There is no hell. This was made by people here on the rock. We are all speeding through time and space. How dare you trivialize it to be associated within the patriarchy of religious belief? Art thou an asshat? Methinks yes. Heavy sigh. Ooh, yummy, yummy in my tummy. That is the end of today's things. I hope you had some fun and made some friends along the way. Oh, you didn't? Oh. <laughs> Well, that sounds like a you problem. In the meantime, you can like this video and make sure you're subscribed to you're always updated on the daily videos when they come out. Because if you don't, I will come to your house and steal your dog. In the meanwhile, I'll see you for the next one. My name has been Jack. You've been a lovely person. I love your face. And you're a, you are a genuinely good person. Things will get better in life. If they're not right now, they'll get better. They do. You just got to keep trying. Anyway, bye-bye.